Hello and welcome back. My name is Literally Dead, and I have an SDA 9 10 team for you today with the Insignia Relic, the Log Relic, and the Shield Relic. The altars I'll be running will be 10 Blood, 10 Mage, and 5 Greed. Alright, let's get right into it. As usual with these solo teams um, with a ranged unit, you want to put them off to the side. That way, you can buy more time for them to do as much damage as possible. Um, in this case, you put Estia on the side. Um, Log is also used on this team to knock back units and stun them to buy more time. Estia can also self heal with her ability and occasionally knock back units herself with her normal attack. Finally, she has the Shield Relic, which gives her many mighty blocks to survive for longer and the Blood Relic gives her a Mighty Block as well, and the Blood Relic also gives her HP Drain to heal her even more. For equipment, uh, let's see, for equipment since she doesn't have any spell power, try to avoid using any staffs, and instead go for bows and swords. If you're scared she might not survive, try to use armor instead. Now for this case, um, it's kind of like situational, you have to figure out when and how you want to use the, the armor instead of something else. Just see if, like, if you think it's going to be a close call, just use the armor, if that makes sense. Now, as strong as she is, I have no idea what's going to happen. And I'll be 100% honest with you, I did absolutely no testing for this, so I'm not even sure if this is going to work. I'm really just kind of winging it to see if it works or not. But I'm confident that with all of these factors coming together, um, it will be enough for the win. I will say though, there have been a lot of close calls, especially here in this beginning part. Uh, it kind of has me pretty nervous about all this, but hopefully we'll, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get through this.
All right, boss time. Now, for as strong as Estia is and how much she's been dominating this chapter, uh, she will not survive by herself with the boss. So, make sure you summon as many Lily as possible for protection. You can put the weak one in the front and then the other Lily you can put onto the sides. For this one, I'm gonna use three. I'm pretty sure that's like the minimum you need. You can probably do more, but three should be fine. Um, the reason why is because you can maximize their survivability and you know, it'll last as long as possible for Estia to deal as much damage as possible. All right, that was pretty easy. All right, while I'm doing the bonus challenge, Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. And if you don't, um, the boss is going to one-hit KO you. And that would not be very fun. Especially if you don't have any Lily to protect you. Alright, later.